back now at the Pro Rutstock Redmond Challenge. We're going to settle things here in the saddle bronc riding. And as we do, we bring on the three-time world champion saddle bronc rider, Hawkeye Henson. You mentioned Tyrell Smith and Jesse Cruz. How do you like the matchups now? Well, I'll tell you one thing. They both got horses they can be 80 points on, you know. Jesse Cruz, he's got one called Jetliner, and Smith has Smoky Day. They're nearly identical bronze. Jetliner will be straight down the pin. Smoky Day may turn back to the right, but he bucks well, too. So, I mean, the other two guys, as you mentioned, they're hot right now. But one of them will need to be in the high 80s to have a 10. First up in the Wrangler Final Four round is Will Schaefer out of Hyannis, Nebraska. Second last week in Toledo. He's the number 11 rider in the season standings going up against Big and Rich at Western Rodeo. Well, you know, Hawkeye, this horse here is always big, strong, got the big rare out, kind of out through there a little bit. Looks like Will's a little behind. He got behind right off the bat. He took it pretty well and come out of it spurring, but then he got in trouble again about five seconds. And a horse like Big and Rich is going to buck better if you're riding him right than he is like this when you have trouble with it. Rocky replay. Spur out was a little bit of weak, even though he come around that post, and he just can't get feet started till about third jump. Still not quite ahead of him. He's just kind of behind him. Says bouncing up and down the saddle. Just never could get a hold with his feet and catch up to old Big and Rich. Judges agree with you, Hawkeye. 69 is the disappointing score for Will Schaefer. As we roll on through our final four round, Ray Tom Myers will go next. Out of Casper, Wyoming, third last week in Toledo. He's on Gossip Girl from B Bar D Rodeo. Kelly, tell us about this horse right here. Yeah, this is about the same matchup as Big and Rich. This horse really comes out of there bucking right off the bat. She uh, has got a little bit of power to her, and if he starts her like he's supposed to, gets a real strong mark out like he has been and stays back under that rein, I think he's matched up for a good ride. All right, Ray Tom had a 79 in the previous round, and uh, he gets shook loose. He gets gathered back up, shook loose again, and dusted into the dirt. You bet, I can't, right here on the Rocky replay. It looks pretty good starting off. He's not really getting up in the neck, but he's in time, but he's not getting a hold. Look how he keeps getting his rear end raised up in the saddle. Finally, she makes a turn while he's raised up. There ain't no way he can make the turn with her. No score for Ray Tom Myers, and that leaves us with two in the Wrangler Final Four round. It's Tyrell Smith and Jesse Cruz. It's head to head right now. Cascade, Montana, Tyrell Smith went to his first Wrangler NFR last year. He's on Smoky Day from Western Rodeo Company. We see the spur out here. He kind of starts a little behind, but look at the reach. Turn those toes out. Catches right back up with her. I mean, she's not really tipping over and helping him. Boy, the further they go, the better it gets here, Spud. That was a great ride, great ride. The one thing I thought I seen, he looks like that saddle slid back just a little bit, but if you look at it, one thing about him, he's getting to the front end. That's a pretty, pretty bronc ride. I think it's gonna sure enough hammer at that lead. I do too, and to your ride, the saddle did go back a little. He overcame it, reached a little higher up there to get in the neck. 85 points to go with his previous 83. That will total him 168 points. Tyrell Smith gonna be hard to beat. That's gonna mean that Jesse Cruz is gonna need an 84 and a half for the outright lead. And let's go to Jesse right now. Great Falls, Montana, 09 world champion. I tell you what, those two horses right there matched up. They're about almost exactly even. This pin is just as good as it can get. Man, what a horse. Look at him jump. Look at him kick. He's even snapping his tail up over his head. That is a great bronc. <laughs> well, right out of that box, he did hump Jesse over a little, although it didn't hurt his action at all. He stayed caught up. As we go back to the Rocky replay and take a look here, see the spur out? Okay, look how he kind of humps him over right here, right pulls there. him forward. He, but he just kept getting out with his feet. Had a little trouble getting righty going to start with, but look after he gets going. How he can turn that toe out, you know? Missed another beat with that right foot. I don't think he did with the left foot. That's why there's a judge on each side. He needed an 84 and a half. He got an 84. Jesse Cruz will catch up and tie his traveling partner, Tyrell Smith, the final leaderboard. Co-champions here in Redmond, Jesse Cruz and Tyrell Smith with a whopping 168 on a pair of rides. Schaefer and Myers round out the top four. Let's go to Kelly down on the floor. Hey guys, I got the dual round winner in the Wrangler Final Four shootout in the saddle bronc riding. You split it with your travel partner. How sweet is that? Pretty sweet. We've been trying to do it all year and we finally got to do it here at Redmond, so it feels pretty good. 
like I told them, we just keep doing what we're doing, and eventually they got to pay us, and it's working out. And the cool thing now is, hey, there's a tiebreaker. How, how are you guys going to figure out who is the overall champ? Probably have to wrestle. <laughs> now, that would be something I'd like to show our viewers right there. Thank you, Kelly. Our season leader remains J.J. Elsher, followed by Troy Krauser and Cody Wright. Tyrell Smith moves into the top seven, and Jesse Cruz gets into the top ten at number nine. Time to find out who made the Kershaw cut in tonight's Cutting Edge Performance Highlights presented by Kershaw Knives. In bareback riding, our champion is Brian Bain. The Bain train has left the station and is on track for the finals. He rode Wagon Master of B Bar D for 86 points in bull riding. After an injury layoff, Cody Ford is back in the hunt in 2013. His ride on Space Monkey has launched his 2013 finals hopes. And in the saddle bronc riding, co-champions Tyrell Smith's 85-point ride on Western Smoky Day was a point better than his traveling partner, Jesse Cruz, who was 84 on Superior's Jetliner. The opposite of how it all was in the long go. Each total 168 and will share top honors. Not only does that include a handsome check, but each rider wins a trace reel silver buckle, a pair of Rocky boots, and a custom Kershaw knife. Next week, we head to the boot hill of Missouri along the mighty Mississippi in Cape Girardeau for the collision in the Cape. Also, we invite you to be a part of the Rustock Revolution by joining our PRS Fan Nation on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with the latest on what's happening. Meanwhile, log on to ProRustock.com for more video, all the scores, news, and information from the PRS Tour during the 2013 season. For Spud Whitman, Hawkeye Henson, and Kelly Timberman, I'm Justin McKee. Thank you for joining us. We sure hope to see you next week.